Oh my God, this one is so good. This one is like, I didn't even watch the whole thing because I wanted to save some fun surprises to watch with you guys. But at the beginning, I was like, oh, she's got it all. Welcome back to Far From Eden. Please hit like and subscribe on your way in. I'll try to remember in a little bit. It's, it's difficult to remember. I'm not a YouTuber. I am a person who found out about uh, some something that was happening in, and was hurting people that I love and had hurt people that I love. And I got to the point where I just felt like I needed to say something. So I started this channel uh, three and a half years ago. And that's what it is. So sometimes we have a chuckle because I don't know about you guys, but I don't know how else to, you know, sit here and watch everything burn. Um, and I know it's harder for y'all because you guys are the sons of the people who built it. So that's why you think about Rome, you know, the fall of Rome. Anyway, we're going to watch a little bit of the fall of Rome today, I suppose. <laughs> that's one way to look at it. Oh, but she's a doll. She's a gem. I almost like, it's almost like it could be an SNL skit. It, it's like, it's that bad, you know? I don't know. So, without further ado, let's check it out. And I will try to have the volume better. I know that I'm a newbie with this stuff, and I, I'm trying to learn and do better with it. So, let's see. Let's get her going. This comes from a channel um, that does a really good job with DUIs. I'm trying to think of, I'm trying to see the name of the channel, but it's not, it's not very prominent. But hopefully he will say here in a second because it's very good and I need to give credit where credit's due. Just the right amount of commentary, I would say he has. Call about an intoxicated woman driving a red Jeep. You don't have your seatbelt on. Okay. Right. These Jeep Wranglers, you have to understand. When you put them on, it's pointless. But okay, I will put it on. I will put it on for license. you. Oh, I appreciate that. You got your license with it? Yep. I don't see your license. All right. The voice. Uh, we can't. We can't get past it. There's going to be people that tell me that that that's some people's natural voice. No. No. It, it really isn't. Not if you're using your air and your diaphragm and everything the way you're supposed to. You know, it's like saying, watching somebody do like, do, 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 and saying that's how people run. Like, no. So to talk like this, you'll have to make it happen. It's really not hard when you're female to do that. Um. Anyway, there's another, look, I'm not a psychiatrist. And, you know, I'm going to get comments criticizing this, but there is, a theory that, you know, the trauma happened and it matches the age of the voice she sounds like now. Don't know what type of trauma could be any type of trauma, I suppose. Perhaps that's where we froze. Let's see. Oh, all right. I'll be right back. Will you just look through? Do you have your registration entrance? I don't know where it is. You don't know where it my is? My parents on my phone, like most people do. Okay. I do not need this right now. I'm hey, having a mental breakdown. Please do not do this okay. to me right now. Right, Nothing's well. wrong with me, but like this cannot happen right now. The well, range got a crease, my storage unit in Nashville. I'm from Nashville. Okay. I'm having a mental breakdown. I cannot. This cannot happen right okay. now. Well, right now, just pulling you over because you don't have your seatbelt on. Okay. okay. I'll be right back with you. All right. Okay. Well, that's all right, because we already learned from little Missy here that in a, that you don't understand, in a Jeep Wrangler, the seatbelts are pointless. Um, I don't know. Maybe I'm also a dumb blonde woman, but I feel like if you're in a car where there are no doors <laughs> and there's no enclosure, um... I don't know, the seatbelts might be even more important. I, I feel like you're going to fly out and it's going to roll on you, but I didn't take physics, so perhaps I'm wrong. Maybe she's right. Maybe she gets it. Uh, I don't know. 
but I love how I'm having a mental breakdown. I can't take this right now as if he's doing something to her. Like if you can't look, if you're that fragile, which some of these DUI people have been, if you've seen them, it's, it's a really shows the way we're, we're going as a society, but like they can't handle anything. I, I really don't know if they should be driving, which interestingly, uh, it seems like the young kids now, like the 16 year old, they don't really even want to get their license. So I guess it kind of does make sense. They're having a mental breakdown right now. Uh-huh. Body cam watch. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Channel. Stay in the car. No, you're not. Get back in the car. Why are you getting out of the car? What would happen if a guy got out of the car? Because you're jumping out of a car on a traffic stop. Please don't talk to me like that. Well, please get back in the car. What is that in your hand? My keys. Or have a seat. I don't like this. I don't like any of this. Who are you? I don't you like don't see here. a badge? You don't no, see Delray Beach? Mean, mean. Well, get, out, you? get back in the car. Why are you making this more difficult than this? Who are you? You're mean. I don't like this. What? We're going to have to start playing a game. And the game is name the age of the child. At, okay. I have... I have a theory. I wish I, I wish it was <laughs> socially acceptable to walk around and like ask people questions. I don't want to judge them. I want to study them. I want to go up to people and say, when did your parents get divorced? Right? Or were you raised by a single mother or a single father? Were you raised in the church? I have questions. I want to, I want to look for sort of, I want to find correlations or not. It's just interesting to me. I, I wish I could just study these humans. I, I, I know I've said I'm a weirdo. One of you nice gentlemen said, you're not a weirdo. I'm like, oh, maybe you haven't watched enough videos yet. <laughs> but watch enough and you'll be like, what? Where did she get all this? Oh, trust me, it's all in these videos. And now we're doing childhood stories. So, you know, you're going to, there's little, little things all along the way. To, to give you clues of, of why I want to study humans. Anyway, I would love to know, you know, if her parents got divorced. Usually when parents get divorced, the father leaves the home. Yeah, that's a whole other deal and not, not okay, but that's usually what happens. So I'm like, when did daddy leave, sweetie? And it always feels that way as a girl, even if he didn't, you know, want to leave. It, it doesn't matter like you just and i think as a boy too as a child all you know is we were a family here and now dad is not here dad left and so there's a, a wound there that he didn't even make you know but it with your little heart as a child you can't comprehend that you just know somebody left it was him you know you don't understand oh mean mommy said we're keeping the house and you know what I mean like we don't get that if that is the case so and that's the other reason we we watch videos together because who knows what it's going to bring up in conversation let's go back I feel like her name should be Trixie I don't know but just with that voice god like I don't know do other people hear her do her friends hear her did her parent did her mom hear that voice and was like sure because I'll tell you one thing if I sounded like that with my parents, that would have been, I think I would maybe would have gotten one syllable out sounding like that. You just, that voice sounds exactly what it is. Spoiled, um, immature, infantile, tantrum. It changes though a little bit. I did see that. I can't remember. It, it must happen soon because I, I didn't watch much of it. So. Where does her voice do a little? Maybe she forgets to be cute for a moment. Because he showed up with his mean ass mentality, and I don't do he well. Do with me. I don't do well with aggressive men. Okay? okay, I just don't. Okay. Thank you for getting back in. I bet she does. All right. Um, 
You can have an empty response. Speech. I love all the police here. Nobody's ever been mean to me. I actually love the Delray police. I actually love them so much. You guys have been very good to me over the years I've lived here. I have literally two minutes from my house. Have you ever watched YouTube, ma'am? Have you ever seen how many people jump out of the cars on traffic stops? I jumped out. Does of it all? Does it end well at all? <laughs> no. I got out of the car because I wanted to talk to him. Okay. He was very nice. I didn't know you were here. You I saw went, me pull up. I went to Publix to buy this potato salad for my friend's barbecue that's happening right now. Okay. That's it. That's and the voice. I got pulled over for the seatbelt. I get it. I don't ever wear a seatbelt, but, but those I don't, people who have to I didn't see the potato salad. Okay. Sorry. Okay. Sorry for that. Um, All right. We got a couple things going on here. She's doing the thing. We've seen it before in another one of my videos where the woman is going to pit one man against the other. I came out of my car to talk to him because he's nice. I didn't know you were here. Yes, she did. That's just dismissive. She decided to be dismissive of him rather than accuse him of being mean again, which I'm pretty sure she already did. So I don't know what she's talking about. But she's like, you're nice and you're not. And she thinks if she calls one nice, and the other one not, then whoever is the not will want to get in her good graces, so we'll start behaving. It's like, it's like, and this is not good parenting behavior, but it's like saying, why can't you get good grades like your brother? Why can't you have manners like your brother? It's like that. It, it's, it's exactly what, that's all she's doing. And I mean, they don't do it consciously. Women don't do this stuff consciously. Um, but that's what she was doing. And then what's up with the potato salad? I know that is not what we are here to talk about, but I love food so much and it's a sin. That little potato salad is like a serving for me. I don't know what barbecue <laughs> she's taking this on eh, too. And she's supposed to be from Nashville. You can't be from the South and have that little teeny potato salad. Like what kind of a woman are you? Not this. And you didn't make it. You bought it. You, okay. As a, as a woman, the way that I was raised, again, here with my weirdo status, my mother was raised by her grandmother, and her grandmother was quite old. She'd had quite a few kids, and anyway, it, it just worked out that way. We don't need to get into the grandmother math, but um, yeah, my, my mom's, the person who raised my mom was basically an old lady, you know, southern old lady. Southern Christian old lady. And that creates a very different creature in some ways. And that was my mom. And so I learned things like, you know, you don't go outside the house until you're presentable. You don't have company over until you are presentable. Before you go into a room, you might say, are you decent? Like things like that. Um, and I, I, when I was growing up, I was like, oh, other people don't talk like that. And I never knew it was from the, you know, that old Southern Christian upbringing or from my dad being British. And I just was like, I don't know which one it is. So again, I, I like to study humans and I totally lost where, where this started from, but that's okay. Cause you know, we're, we're here pretty much every day now having these conversations. I'll, I'll talk about it again sometime. This chick makes my brain um, go haywire. It's it's difficult from, for my, to try to, um, to analyze her being inside my brain. Just imagine a pinball machine. That's what's going on. <laughs> That's what's going on. Yeah, she pitted them against each other. And I'm like, ah, now I have no idea. And, and, and I think she has a bathing suit on and like a cover up. Oh yeah, we were talking about the, the potato salad, right? Potato salad is very serious in my family. And, oh, I remember what I was gonna say. You're not gonna show up to somebody's house with food that's bought from a store as a woman. Like in my family, you're just not gonna do that. Um, you're not going to show up to a potluck, barbecue, um, family get together, whatever, with something you brought that you bought at a store. You would rather show up with nothing at all. 
So for me to see this sad little display, I'm just like, you should be ashamed as a woman for that. I'm dead serious. I'm like dead serious. Like I'm a little bit kidding because it's, it's that bad that it's funny, but like, I'm dead serious. I would not ever do that. Okay. Uh, All right. Let's get back into this. Let's start up. I'm called out to the scene to conduct the DUI investigation. That's why I'm here. Okay. That's exactly why I'm here. So I just want to make you aware of why I'm here. So do you understand why I'm here? He just said it like four times. I'm not, I'm not doing this. I'm not doing this. Okay. You don't want to understand what I mean. I'm not doing this. I'm not participating in this. I didn't ask you to participate in anything. All I am is asking if you understood why I'm standing here. I and understand seeing why you're here, and that's why you showed okay. up very mad in your demeanor. What? That's not you... why I showed up mad. What? Because he was I great, didn't... and you were not. I gave you verbal commands to get back in the car. Okay. What did you do? You told me I'm not doing it. That's right. I'm not doing this again, okay? I've done this before. Okay. I'm not doing this again. I'm not talking to you. I'm not going to listen to you talking to me like this. What? I'm not talking to, talking to you like what? What? Why are I'm we arguing? Facts, man. I don't know what the problem is. I don't like police officers, okay? You guys are You mean. just said you like police officers. You did. In Delray, but not you. You're well, mean. I work in Delray. You're not nice. Mm -hmm. Right now, you're trying to do something right now. I'm you, know? you know why I'm here? I'm conducting a DUI investigation to make sure you're safe and everybody else is safe on the road. So that's not something good? Okay. Oh, so Do you have any medical conditions that affect your ability to drive this? Oh, so I actually, I'm starting to get a little bit. Oh, Just kidding. What the hell is this? Like, what a display we have going on. Like, she should be an actress because we've got, like, you know, sad, defenseless kitten going on. You're mean, but you're doing something right now. You're mean. Like, give me a break. And I just, mm, he's arguing with her. Like, don't, they have to, they need certain, you know what they need to do? Cops need training on how to not argue, argue with a woman. Because there are just certain things that she'll, grab onto and they need to learn to just not I, I think this needs to be part of their training but they'll never do it because I would be sexist or, no, my boyfriend broke up with me today okay I'm sad so are you in the right oh. frame of mind to be driving yes I'm fine I just went to get potato salad for my barbecue <laughs> oh. Oh. I live right over here I just left to get potato salad wow. what the She's uh, fine. Have you taken any prescription medications that would affect your ability no, to drive? I'm just upset. I'm just a woman. Oh my God. Somebody clip that. Are you taking any prescription medications? No, I'm just upset. I'm just a woman. Somebody clip that. Oh my gosh. That was beautiful. She's, yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, we will go to the marijuana. No, I swear to God. Okay. How much alcohol have you had? None. Oh, she said none. So there's a reason that I smell the odor of an unalcoholic beverage coming from. There's a beer in my, there's many alcohols in my car mm. because they've been there for like. Are they open? No. There's then why would I smell it? They're not open. You know what? You could just say that. You know, I was a paralegal. I worked for two criminal attorneys for six years. And you can just say, is there a reason I should smell? I just did. He totally said that at first. And there's many alcohols. And you said I have multiple beers in my vehicle, but they're not open. So if they're not open, I shouldn't have an odor of an unknown can alcoholic please beverage. Just go home? Can I please just park my car and go home? Please, I, no. please, God, please just please let me park my Jeep here and walk home. For the love of God, I'm trying to move out of Florida. I want to go back home to Nashville. I don't even like it here. Please let me go home. 
<laughs> I'm having the worst time here. I don't like it here. I'm sorry. It's can not. It's not me? real. Oh my please. god! Please, can I please start my phone? Let me go home. No. Once we're done, you can do whatever you want. Okay. <laughs> but I'm not gonna let somebody go out here. Oh, no, you gotta get part of my car, and I will come home. I'll walk and home. how do I know that you're not gonna come back around? Oh, and I will walk home. home. You can walk me home. That's not our job with babysitting. I, I will call somebody. You want to call somebody? Not yet, no. You have no me no uh, medical conditions at all. Because your 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 mood is like this. I'm sad. My boyfriend and then just angry and he's sad. My and then boyfriend angry. just up with me. I'm sorry. We have to stop for music break. Borderline. Oh my God. He saw the moon like this. And a lot of people will say, oh, I'm so bipolar. Um, that's not bipolar. That's something different. I'm not a psychiatrist. I am not claiming to be. I am not diagnosing you or myself. And um, I think there's another video of mine that's coming out soon that you're also not going to like on that topic of borderline and how we all, all of us females seem to be afflicted with it. And this chick is... First of all, I don't know if she's borderline. She's just changing tactics quickly, it looks like. And she can't keep track of which tactic she's using. But that doesn't mean she's not borderline. So let's keep, we can look for clues. We need a, a bingo card. It'd be fun. Borderline in the middle. Okay, we've been together for a long time. But if you're this emotional, how can you drive, right? Does yeah. it affect your driving conditions? It absolutely Stop it. does. No, you are scaring me and affecting my conditions. It doesn't affect the way I drive. I was almost home. I was almost at home. Oh my gosh. You so made... tears in your eyes, and you ever heard the term of driving angry or upset? No, I wait, used to teach alcohol awareness classes for the state of Tennessee. Okay. I know how alcohol affects the body when you're emotional, it affects you even worse i know all but you said you haven't had any alcohol today so why would that be affecting your emotions yeah i'm just telling you okay i know everything okay she's she's better than i thought she was she knows everything well that's good well i'm so glad because i have so many questions god but i would do you understand how much I would love to just, I would actually want to talk to somebody like that. Like I would interview a person like that. I would calmly interview them. I want to see how they rationalize and justify things. I would literally, literally, literally be like, wow, oh, that's a unique voice you have. I, I just feel like people are getting away with stuff and they're not explaining themselves. And I don't like it. But it's not answering my questions. Like yeah. it's not. No, no. That's the answer. No. Okay. All right. Back to the odor. Yes. If the alcohol and the containers no. of the alcohol are not open, there's no reason I should smell that. Then, so right. what, what will be the reason that I what smell? What are you going to do to me? Let's talk about that. What are you going to do to me? What Conduct do you an investigation. That's why I'm here. I'm the sweetest girl you'll ever meet in your life. Nobody said you're a bad person. Nobody did. But you could let me. I know because my dad was an officer of the law. And I will tell you, you could let me park that car. And you could take me home. You could do that if you wanted to. But you No, won't. I cannot. Yes, you can. My no, dad I was cannot. A, my dad was a cop. In Delray? All right. Daddy was a cop. And this is your reaction to cop. I've got all kinds of questions about parental alienation. Were you close with your father? Because she did not mention her father earlier on now. She could totally be lying, I get that. But it's a weird thing to mention at this stage of the game. I think she's also mentioned at some point that she was also a paralegal. So she could also be Wonder Woman. I don't know, but uh, yeah. He needs to control the conversation. It, it doesn't have to escalate 
you know, but I think he's, he, I think the cop thinks he's going, it's going to escalate if he controls the, the conversation, but I don't know. I just feel like he needs to be a little bit more stern, a little more, um, not letting her, you know, take the reins and just be like, let's talk about that. I don't think that's helping the situation. No. Well, in, in, Del in Delray Police Department, we have a policy that a DUI investigation will be conducted. And if it is probable cause, you can be placed under arrest for driving under influence. What do you want it me does to not you? it does not allow me to let somebody park a car and walk intoxicated back to their house or transport people like a taxi. What do you so want me I'm to not do? allowed to do what you're asking. What do you want me to do, officer? I'm to trying to have a conversation to explain what's going on. So I smell an odor of what does she mean by what do you want me to do? Just curious because what could she possibly mean by that? I don't know. Oh, no, I'll call when it I beverage. Just see it. When I see it, when I, when I see it pop, I just freak out. But your dad's in the You weren't like this when you need to Because he's right? nice. I see your demeanor. I didn't even talk to you, you and you jumped in. out of the car. Because you came in with your energy, dude. You came in with your energy. energy. The energy. That's not a thing. You would have just been here. It would have been a whole other ball game. But you but jumped you out of the car without even talking to me at all. No, so I saw I you arrive. That. I saw you I know arrive. You did. And I was like, oh, here we go. So you jumped out of the car. Here we go. Okay. Put me on blast. What? Because okay. my dad was a cop, so I know. So you, you, you have not. There you go. I was taught to hate my dad, all men, particularly police officers. So I know I already hate you when you walked up because of your energy. Yeah, it's probably the energy of somebody that's going to, I don't know, hold her accountable. You're saying that you have not, not consumed any alcohol. Nope. Is there a reason that somebody will call in and say you did? Who called in yeah. and said I had alcohol? <laughs> Nobody. Hannah? Huh? Oh my, look at the eyes. Are you serious? I'm dead serious. I didn't make it up. Ooh. She doesn't know what she did. She has no idea. She's 18 years old. She has okay. no idea. She's an adult. She has no, she's not an adult. Okay. She was drinking, she was consuming alcohol at the pool that we were at. Just so you know, you want to go arrest her for that? Under its consumption. So, so how come she you was didn't consuming report? because I'm a nice person and my dad was a cop and we all yeah. know. We all do. You know why I didn't report. Wow. I think that voice got even deeper. Now she fell up here, but there's a little more. Oh, she's mad. Another woman held her accountable. Ooh, that's a different kind of mad, isn't it? It's almost like that's what it's really like when she has an emotion. We just saw one of her real emotions. That's you know all. <laughs> so wow. we're still having to explain what's going wow. on. Wow. Wow. Other than you're blaming wow. somebody else for wow. doing something else. And I Wow, thank you for telling me that. Thank you for okay. oh, she's I'm up for, I'm not I'm not hiding anything. But you're not explaining anything huh? either. What am I supposed to explain, sir? Why would somebody call in and why would I smell odor of an unknown alcoholic beverage coming from you right now? Anna and I used to work together and I thought she really liked me as a friend, but apparently she doesn't. Well, I think she probably does because she's probably concerned for your safety and everybody else. Yeah, she's not concerned for my safety because she's gonna put me in jail. That's not safety. That's money. That's a huge oh. if, if you go to jail tonight, it would be your actions. I can't go take you to jail because she called me. She would be the direct she would be the direct counterpart of that action. No concept. Absolutely no concept of accountability. Right there. Nothing. And it's not the alcohol. It is not the alcohol. It's not because she's drunk. The drunkenness is making it easier to see behind like any kind of veil. That is, that is 
That is contempt. She is mad at this Hannah chick. She is so mad. And nothing is this woman's fault. She's done nothing wrong. Nothing. Wow. Look at that. Oh, God, I hate that I said wow. Like a, I know it's a habit for some. I don't know how all of us women got that. You need to stop it. I don't want to sound like that. I don't need her to take you to jail for DUI. I need probable cause here on scene that you were driving the car, which this officer saw you driving the car. Her word of you driving a car is not enough to arrest somebody. I love you. You're so Okay. This is where I'm like to, like to do. I'm going to request you perform roadside tasks just to dispel the suspicion that I have that you're driving under the influence today. So are you willing to perform the roadsides? What did I do? Like he's lying, yes. Okay. Don't step out of the car. Tears, the crying. You're an adult woman. What if a grown man acted like this? Ew. No, there's people watching. There's people who are watching. I'm not going to be able to do that, it. Ma'am, there's not much I can do about people out here in public. Oh. He's leaving anyway. Do you want to do the roadside or not? I'm so nervous, and I'm like shaking. So how am I gonna even do them properly? <laughs> I don't imagine if adult men acted like this. I know there are some men that are sort of arrested development dudes. That they are primarily younger generation and and degenerate. But like, imagine if by and large men acted the way that women act, like. Like, first of all, when she jumped out of her car earlier, um, she would have been shot. And I, just because they, they don't know, you know, but the, because she's a woman, it's like, oh, she's probably not dangerous. And they just get away with everything. I mean, look how long this is taking for her. I don't understand why you're so emotional right now. <laughs> because I'm sad it's about my boyfriend and, like, life is just... Been, life is just really bad. You don't understand. My rent, I'm trying to understand. My rent just got increased. My storage unit in Nashville just got increased. I'm like, I oh, I need to come up with like 2K like immediately. And I'm just overwhelmed. And this is just too much. It's just too much. I can't even. You know, it would have been good as if when she was in her, I don't know, early 20s and most fertile if she would have made the decision to be a wife and mother none of these problems would be happening right now this would all be taken care of but what do i know she's she's free she's she's liberated this is making women happy there was a time when it was unseemly for women to drink at all let alone be drunk and you might say well that's so controlling that was a different time i'm looking at this and i'm like um which one is better for this for this little little lady which which one do you think is is she happier in better, you know, cared for, less stress, et cetera. Which, which one, which scenario do you think? But every seem to be okay. You're at a pool today. Good point. I was at a pool today with my friend Sarah and Hannah, that 18 year old bitch who I used to work with. I wasn't even going to talk to her. <laughs> and I told Sarah, let's be nice. Let's go talk to her. Aww. And then she did this. She's, uh, pretty much she's concerned. Yeah. She's oh concerned. She, did she witness you drink any alcohol? She <laughs> is drinking alcohol. She's 18. I didn't ask you what she did. I asked if she witnessed you drink alcohol. I don't think there. so. No, I don't think she did. Okay, so She has no she idea has what every, I'm drinking. So she, she has no idea <laughs> what I'm drinking. I literally think she's trying to throw me under the bus and Why? like kill my life. Have you met her before? Yes, she worked with me. She was my coworker. Okay. So, like I said, I'm not using her for any kind okay, of evidence. I'm sorry, officer. I'm but she I'm did here. call the police department, so it is on record at the Can police department. Can you understand why I'm upset that she called the police department? I, Imagine I, if your friend did something like this to you. You'd be upset. Your friend. 
but crying, bowling oh, over I, that. I, it's what? because I it's everything. It's that I don't have Didn't mean to mute this one. I just had to cough. See, I'm not good with the technology, you guys. So sorry. Um, sorry, right, honey. I'm every, I'm, it's everything's just overwhelming, and that's why I was like, please, oh, no, hold on. This is too it. much. <laughs> I noting. just wanted to mute my microphone for a minute. And now, all of a sudden, it's muted, and I don't know why. It's bizarre. Let's just see if it fixes itself. He's wrong with my head. And I'm I all crazy. It's just that I can't deal with any more. It's crazy. Like, what is happening here? Okay. Well, are you willing to perform? No, I don't want that. No, I don't want that. Oh, you guys, this is ridiculous. I'm going to have to cut all that out. All right, now, <laughs> now that we're back and I fixed the weird thing that I messed up, let's keep going. We're, we were where um, she was with Sarah and Hannah at the pool. Um, she was not too sad to do that. And um, now she's about to go into how Hannah was thrown her under the bus by saving her life and getting her to stop being drunk and driving. Although I know women and I have a feeling it might have been a little bit, she might have had it in for her because I don't know. It's just not, I don't know. It's not like us saying that character. Why? Like, kill my life. Have you met her before? Yes, she worked with me. She was my coworker. Okay. So, like I said, I'm not oh. using her for any kind of okay, evidence. I'm sorry, officer. I'm but really she sorry. did call the police department, so it is on record at the Can police department. Can you understand department. why I'm upset that she called the police department? I, Imagine if your friend did something like this I would to say you. You'd be upset. Your friend. But friend. crying, bawling over that. It's because I, it's everything. It's that I don't have my rent money. I'm every, I'm, it's everything's just overwhelming. And that's why I was like, please, you know what? This is too much. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing's wrong with my head. I'm not crazy. It's just that I can't deal with any more. <laughs> I can't. Okay. Well, <laughs> are you willing to perform the word cycle? I've never done this before. And even if I can't mess it up, I mean, come on, I'm pretty we can vote we can vote just saying i'll do it but i'm devastated all right well then let's just calm down and listen to his instructions all right? <laughs> we'll move on from there just calm down and do it what do you want me to do i'm standing right here Okay. Oh, good. Right. See, just calm down a bit. Nobody can actually do this. Have you ever seen the YouTube videos of people who are like completely sober doing this? No. Carry on. I, it. Yeah, I got 31 pounds of gear on. Ha ha. Yeah, I'm overweight. <laughs> oh. so this is what makes it, it puts a pressure on you. Okay, to make, this, it puts this, pressure on you. This one is nothing but standing still and following the light with your eyes. Okay, but let's do it. So, okay. so I need you oh, to put your oh, feet together. Very sweet. Oh, on, Shut up. Down like this. Who cares? Stay in that position, okay? Stop trying to I'm going to show you a light and then move that light left and right and up and down. Follow that light with your eyes only. Keep your head still and I everything. I know. Got it. Got it. Okay? See your light in front of you? Yep. Manipulate. Blue. Don't do this again to me. Yep. Okay. Yep. I am not trying to mute this. There we go. I got it. That is still. Back talk. This is silly. This is not. It's so silly. I'll do it for you again. What else do you want me to do? Sorry. I need you to follow the light. Like I told you. Shut up. I'm doing it, but the sun is in my eyes. You see it right there coming through the trees, right? Let's flip. Let's flip. There we go. Gotta control everything. Manipulate everything. Do you have any injuries or everything. ailments that affect your belly walk a straight line? Complain. Yeah. Yeah, we'll come over here. Okay, yes, I'm gonna walk a straight line. Okay, fine. Ready, I'll do it. Put your left foot on the line. Put your right foot in front of your left foot. Do you realize that even gymnasts is hard for them? 
You realize that, right? I'm going to demonstrate it. This is I'll tell you job. to begin. We're going to take a series of nine steps forward, turn around, and take a series of nine steps back. Nine steps. Okay. Now, do you have Ready? any questions? Nope. Literally. One, two, three, four, five, you understand. Six, eight, nine. You do that. And if I step off, continue to count. Got it. Ready? You can begin. One, two, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Sorry, I went to twelve. Yeah. One, two, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Okay. Let's come back over here. Stand on your face, man. All right. What I want you to do is put your feet together. Right, arms down by your side. You can stand on your left, stand on your right, does not matter. But whatever leg you're not going to stand on, okay, you're going to put it straight out in front of you, about six inches off the ground. Just like that. Hold on. You're going to look at your toe and count out. A thousand one, a thousand two, until I tell you to stop. If any time you feel like you lose your balance. Okay, fine. Math? It's just 1,001. Oh my gosh. 1,001. Okay, I'm going to count to 1,000, 1,003. Exactly. She literally said, I'm not good at math. I'm sorry. Okay. I've never been drunk, but I just don't think I would become that stupid. I think I would have to already be stupid. Maybe I'm wrong, but I, I just, I, it doesn't turn you in a total, into a totally different person. It reveals things about you. Good Lord. People should not be drinking because they shouldn't, they don't, it's not a good look to, reveal all this stuff about yourself. You're not revealing great things. Okay. Do you have any questions? No, it's a cheerleader for 20 years. Study? Okay. What was that? All right, so whenever cheerleader. you're ready, you can begin. 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, 1,004, 1,010, 1,011, 1,011, 12, I'm sorry, 1,013, sorry, 1,014, 1,018, 1,019. 1,020, 1,021, 1,022, 1,023, 1,024, 1,025. Right. Stop. You know the English alphabet A to Z. Oh, we're doing this. Yes. Okay. All right. What we're going to do. I can't do it backwards. Nobody can. I'm not asking you to do it backwards. All right. So, what we're going to do is put our feet together, arms on our side. We're going to have to tilt the back and eyes closed for the entire exercise. Sir, so I have passed many exercises. Are we really still doing this? This is insane. This is a lot. When you can just, I can park my car and go on. Okay, I respect that. Yes. What are we doing? So, just so in the same position you were just in. Just sure. your head back and eyes closed. All right. When I give you the command, begin. I want you to recite the alphabet, starting with letter A, all the way forward, and with the letter Z. Don't you say it in a non-rhythmic manner, such as this: A, B, C, D, E. Clear and loud, so that way yeah. we're not in a rhythmic manner singing an ABC song. Okay, sure. Right. But what is the other part of it? I'm yeah. not going to go backwards. No. I, Wait, you, you said something about Z. Head. You said something about Z. Start with A. Okay. And you're going to go all the way forward and end with the letter Z, which yes. is the last of letter course. of the alphabet. Duh. And so then all you're going to do is recite the okay, entire I'm just alphabet. Recite alphabet. Okay, fine. That's it. Ready? I'm going to do my head back. Are you ready? Yes, I'm. Do you have any questions? No, I have no questions. I have to tilt my head back. Tilt your head back. Close your eyes. Tell me when to go. Right, you can begin. A B C D E F G H I J K L M N O G D R K. I couldn't have done this since I was like twelve. Um, oh my god, I don't think I remember the alphabet. That's just me being like a weird person. No. Are you more comfortable with letters? Uh, not letters, uh, numbers. Dumb. Numbers. Oh god, I don't think I remember the alphabet. Strong. A B C D E F G H I J K L M N O P Q R S T U V H I J K. It's just been a long time since I've done that. Are you more? Can you count zero to a hundred? Yes. It's been a long time since I said the alphabet. So you know, I just. The level of, uh, there's no self-awareness. It's, it's crazy. And, and she thinks, she thinks she's so cute. Like, uh, she just thinks she's so cute. Oh. Uh -huh. Yes, yes. Okay, so if I give you a series of numbers, 70 to 100, you'll be able to start with 70 and end with 100? Yes, I will do it. All right, when I say begin, I want you to recite 
starting with the letter num uh, 35, or the number 35, 35, all the way up, and then with 65. Okay. Ready? You understand? I got it. It's very it's gonna be a long process, but yes, I'm ready. Right, so tilt your head back. Ready? Close oh, wow. your eyes, and you can begin. 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100. Okay. All right. All right. All right. We just had one more, okay? That's it. What? How many games? There was like it's a lot. It's not games. Feels like it. Game. That's her life. The there you go. There you go, fellas. If you've made it this far, that's what we win. This is what it is to women. It it that is like being drunk. It's like forty and slip after forty and slip. Games. We don't have real consequences in life. A lot of us. So especially, you can tell she used to be cute. You can tell she used to be cute. And she's probably around, I don't know, 40 now. And she's not like super chunky. So she was probably thin, fit, cute, you know, all of that. Um, and she's had a, she's, it's an easy life as far as consequences and accountability goes. So it's games. The reality men face in life, the consequences they face that they didn't even, a lot of times that they didn't even bring upon themselves, it's, it's a totally different reality. And that right there was it. That was the, that was, they tell on themselves even when they don't even understand what they're saying. All right. We keep our arms down like this at around shoulder height. Okay? So shoulder height, grab the arms out and eyes closed for the entire exercise. And then what are we doing? You're standing, you're doing that until I tell you to stop. Let's do it. All right. Yeah. Then close your eyes, keep your arms up until I tell you to stop. I know what this is. Cause you gotta trick them. <laughs> it's not hard. <laughs> it's not hard. Jam. Are you guys looking? No. What's wrong? You've been placed under arrest for driving under influence today. Sam. Tango 50 is gonna have a 10 15. Can you 45 for that? Yeah, I'll play a few for 10 seconds. Like, how did I do that? You, you, okay. you can't do this. I have a dog at my house and I'm babysitting. <laughs> you can't do this. Well, I need to call my attorney in that immediately. Case, you'll be able to call him once you're booked into the jail. But the next step is we're going to go up to West Palm Beach. Why would you do this to me? You don't. You have a choice How? right now. Do not. You do have a choice. I've already explained that. No, so, you have a choice. Do you have any? You just have your baby seat, your cover up on, right? You have a choice right now, sir. Ma'am, listen. Choice. The choice has been. You know, it's it's done. Okay. Yeah. I already yeah. told you I didn't have that choice per policy at the Delray Beach Police Department. I have to conduct an investigation. Sure. And if I see enough signs of impairment, an arrest will be made. It's not a pass or fail, no. ma'am. Yes, it is a pass or fail. Is there a video, ma'am? There's no score that pass or fail is or there anything a video? like that. Video over right here. Well, video over right here. If I take it to right court, then yeah. we'll see Absolutely. Passing. That's your right. He needs to know how to talk to her. It's not, there's no pass or fail. Just be like, no, you didn't. Let's go. We're going. You're getting arrested. You broke the law. Like, whatever, you know, just, I think the other guy's getting frustrated. He's like, it's done. It's already done. <sighs> this is important. Why would you waste your time? I'm not wasting my time. You are wasting your time. Come back to right. the back sir, of the car. Sir, I mean this in Don't lose this because that's an additional charge. Your best bet is Sir, I mean this with my, all of my intensity. I mean this with all of my heart. You do not want it to put me made. in that car. You don't want me to put in that car. You don't want to put me in that car. You're going in the car. My don't stuff, make this more my difficult. Purse, all right? My phone is in the okay, car. We'll get all that for you. Don't make this more difficult that's than it needs to be. You may. You guys get okay. a bad money. Uh, you can let me walk out. Why are you doing this? <sighs> that girl, that girl, her karma. The one that turned her in. Right, have a seat, all right? Her karma. No. It's not a thing. It's not a thing. I won't apologize. I'm sick and tired of women talking about karma and especially Christian women talking about karma. That's not what we believe in. Okay, so 
Stop it. We'll see. You guys, let me go. If you don't go and have a seat, guess what? You guys. You get shackled and tied up, and then you get picked let up. Let me go home. I'm not going. I'm not going yeah. to West Palm. I'm not going there. Yes, you are. No, I'm not. Yes, you are, ma'am. You are no, under arrest. No, I'm not. I don't have anybody to call. And my family does not arrest. live here. My family does not live here. I don't have anybody to call Sit to, down. to bail me out. You want to go to the other side? No, I'm not. I don't want to go hands on. Listen, you got to sit in the car or else I'm going to pull you in the... The organism does what has made the organism successful. And that's what she's doing. She wouldn't be doing this, acting this way, if it hadn't worked for her in the past. Again, that is a huge social commentary in and of itself. The car. Please sit down. I'm going to bail me out. You're not going to need bail. Really? It's an eight hour hold. Really? Okay, okay. Thank you. Thank you, Karina. Am I still charged with you either? Yes. Yeah. It's an eight hour hold then. It's a state law in Florida. Anything drug or oh. alcohol related will be an eight hour hold Why can't because they can't just release somebody that's under the influence. Just leave it there? No, I'm not. It's going to Westway Towing for safekeeping. Okay. You have a phone in the car? Yes, everything is in the car. Okay. Where is your wallet at? <laughs> it's all Okay, we're gonna we're gonna get that. Then. I started crying when I saw you because I knew. Okay, well what are we gonna do? If you had if you didn't drink That's called a guilty conscience. If you saw him and you knew what he was gonna do, like you were kinda worried all, all of a sudden, like that's called a guilty conscience. Okay? No, I'm not one of those people that says if you haven't done anything wrong, then you have no reason to fear the cops. I don't think that's true at all. I think the cops are the arm of the state. However, I don't do, th I like, I try not to do things that are going to make them want to get me even more. You know, I am aware of who they are and what their power is. And if, if you, are just going to outright put yourself out there as an easy like tar and you should be taken off the road honestly if you're drunk you should not be driving that is that kills people and the flippancy with which she deals with it it's a game it's all a game to her i i don't know I, these women what would happen with her like i often think of this and i'm sorry like like what would have happened to her if she had been diagnosed with ms in her 20s I think she would have just been like, oh, why me? I don't think she would have, you know, been like, all right, we're going to do this and we're not going to be a victim. And, you know, I just, they can't, they can't face any consequences. They're like allergic to accountability. It's staggering. You think we'd get used to it. Drink anything? Is it you wouldn't be in the back of a car. I knew that you were mean. Mean. Yeah. You know, words do get to men. Especially. These are not mean guys. These are guys who, you know, probably Hello. wanted to be a hero. They probably wanted to be a hero and be a good guy. I can't, yeah. You know, and they. Sale, take I can't. You probably wanted take to be the good guys Sit and down. help people and stop this bad is... guys, and then you got to me. Well, you're if mean. I put you in the cell, I don't you have know, a key to get I you out they take because the technician's not here. So sit sense. down and you yeah. remain in handcuffs yeah. until he gets here. If I put you, if I put you in the cell, I don't have. I don't have a key to get you out. Don't put me in the cell. Just let me sit here. Then you can't because you have to remain handcuffed unless you're in a cell. I'm not a crazy That's person. That's the sheriff's office rule. I'm not a crazy person. Sit down. Um, my nose and my face. Define crazy. Sit down. Come on now. I'm telling you. I'm not touching you. No more. Out. Sit down. He said, I'm not touching you. Do you hear that? Sit down. You're smart. Smart dude. You want to be chained to the chair? Look at that defiant little face. Look at that. You would do that. What does that You mean? would not listen either. All you have to do is sit down. What the heck? You feel good about yourself when you wake up in the morning. I don't feel good the way you're acting. Yeah. I want you to understand that you arrested the wrong person. I don't I, know. I just want you to really. You are the only person there. No, no. I think you need. You don't understand. Oh, you really arrested the wrong person. Why is that? 
Like I said, Hannah was 18 years old, wasted. I don't need a Hannah. Well, she, why do you think she, why do you, let's, let's talk about this. Why do you think that she called you about me? Because she was trying to disguise the fact that she was underage drinking. How do you, was she driving? She was driving. Yep, that bitch was on the road. Okay. She was on the road. But yet she called me in and you didn't ask me any of this. You just presumed. No, I did not. And I am way I gave, more. Man, I asked you about medical conditions, prescriptions. <laughs> I asked you about illegal <laughs> drugs. She is finally. Now, this is when the drunkenness has affected it. Like it's taken her this long to come up with her evil master plan to flip it all over on Hannah. She's like, you see, Hannah created this as a diversion to cover up her own terrible crime. Well, why would she need to? She would have just not called it in, dummy. But she, that's the drunkenness making her dumb there, I think. I asked you about alcohol. I asked if you've been in an accident, if you had any problems with your eyes, if you've been to a doctor or a dentist, had a bump on the head recently. You I asked you, you a you bunch of times. Was drinking and driving the person that phoned me in? How does Hannah's actions affect your sobriety? She, how do you? She's trying to. Do, I don't know. She doesn't like me. Okay. Have you ever heard about that? Have but how does that? her actions? She, if she's murdering somebody, how does it affect your level of sobriety? She's out drinking and driving, and she just fucking wanted to throw me under the bus. But if you weren't drinking and driving, I you wasn't. couldn't be. You I wasn't. Were, well, you were consuming alcohol. No, I wasn't. Okay. No, I wasn't. Okay. And I will stand by that. All right. I wasn't doing anything wrong. I'm just emotional because I don't have the money I need. And my parents don't help me. You're 39. My parents don't help me either. My parents never helped me. You have ruined everything for downtown. You were driving right? today. You didn't ask anybody for I the ride. I was two feet from my apartment, by the way, when you pulled me over. Not really. Yes, I was. You're three blocks away. Oh. If you Which is not... not two feet. Okay, okay, okay. Somebody has to... You have to, this is, I can't, I can't even deal with you. I feel like she, you have to, you have to, like she's trying to threaten him. And she's like, I have no leverage. Crap. I've used every manipulating trick I can and I'm out. Oh no. She's literally, this is the moment she's coming to the realization. She has run out of every trick in the book. She's tried to say, no, it's not me you want. It's Hannah. See? Hannah's the real bad guy. She's called him names. She's pitted the other cop against him. She's tried to say she's innocent. Her dad's a cop. She's so that's an appeal to authority. It's like everything. And she's out. I, I think, oh, what's she going to do now? She's cried. She's tried to control the situation. Look, nobody gets DUIs in Delray. I work in the traffic enforcement and all I do is DUI. The other guy was really nice, and when you showed up, I started crying immediately because I knew you were going to arrest me. When you said, why did you start crying when you saw me? And it's because I knew... Well, I'm like, first you I'm didn't start psychic. crying. I'm a little psychic, and I knew you were going to arrest me. It doesn't matter what I said. I knew you were going to arrest me. And but that's you, why I started crying. You didn't start to cry. <laughs> because you were I angry. knew you were going to arrest Our me. Our first interaction? I knew you had no... You weren't going to okay. listen to anything I said. But you're not listening to what I'm saying, so what's you, the difference? You Okay, maybe, <laughs> maybe he's talking to her back and forth because um, it's for the, you know, for the, for court so that he, you know, there's even more record of her behavior and her um, drunkenness. Perhaps that's it. And it certainly did cause quite the display and um, her lack of and because it said she refused a breathalyzer, so there's technically no proof she was drunk. So as much as she talks and makes no sense, and as much as the cop is reasonable, I guess that really does help the case later in court. So I get that. But I do think it would be, I don't know, I, I'm such a nerd. <laughs> I might I might decide to figure out and design some kind of like officer training on how to how to talk to women and it's not really the officer thing it's just how to talk to them and and um not let them control the situation and give them give them very little to manipulate and to not to really be teflon 
Um, so that would be that would be fun. Uh, some cops they really do it, and it's impressive. Because I mean, I I had to I've had to do it with women too. It's not like they only do it to men. They do it more to men. But anyway, so that was. Whew, I think I, I I need a. I don't know. I need something after that. Uh, that was a lot. A lot of female energy coming at us is what that was. Whew. All right, guys. Um, I want you guys to have a good rest of your day. Have a good evening. Make sure that you take care of yourselves and um, find something, anything to have a chuckle at. And don't forget to hit like and subscribe on your way out. Bye.